Student loan debt is crushing United States college students, leaving borrowers graduating with an average debt of $37,000. But each year, at least 2 million eligible students fail to submit the Free Application for Federal Student Aid the FAFSA, and students leave over $2.5 billion of free money for college on the table. The FAFSA makes college more affordable, and is often a big part of student success. So what's keeping students from applying? West Texas A&M University faced this very problem, and they asked Irrational Labs to help them understand the problem and improve their FAFSA application rates. The usual approach to this problem begins by asking students, why didn't you apply? And when you ask this question, students usually say they didn't think that they were eligible for aid. But when you give students more information about their eligibility, application rates don't improve. So we used a different approach. We used behavioral design, studying what students do, not what they say they do. Our first step was to complete a behavioral diagnosis, mapping out every action and decision that a student makes to complete the FAFSA. We found that there are over 20 actions a student must take to file the FAFSA. Deciding to apply, gathering information, filling out each page, these are all steps in the application process. Once we had a behavioral map, the second step was to identify the psychological barriers and biases present at each step of the process. We found that a key barrier for students was in the initial decision to apply. There's a lot of friction involved, as the FAFSA requires time and effort to fill out. And a student won't know if they actually qualify for aid until they've completed the form. This created cognitive overload, prompting students to procrastinate and keeping them from submitting their applications on time. Once we identified this key barrier for students in submitting the FAFSA, we came up with a hypothesis. We thought we can remove cognitive overload by removing the initial decision to apply or not apply. And we can do this by making the FAFSA application feel like it's just part of the standard college enrollment process. This way, no one is forced to apply, but it would make applying feel like it was the normal behavior to do. To test our hypothesis, we ran an experiment in partnership with AdmitHub, a mobile messaging platform. We sent over 2,000 college students reminders about the FAFSA deadline. For half the student population, our control condition, we texted them a simple reminder that they could apply for financial aid and gave them the deadline. For the other half of students, our treatment condition, we texted them that applying for financial aid was now a part of the university's enrollment process and included the same deadline. And the results? What we found is quite promising. For students in the treatment condition that did not apply the prior year, our experiment tripled the odds of applying on time for financial aid. And if this intervention were rolled out in the United States, it's estimated that over 230,000 more students might apply for financial aid. This would mean helping more students afford college, continue into their next semester, and graduate with less debt. These findings illustrate the importance of using behavioral design to understand and solve problems. Behavioral design helps us focus on what people do, not what they say they do. And it does this by studying the decision-making environment and its influence on our behavior. In this case, one small change to the decision-making environment increases the likelihood of college attendance.